Turkish aid on its way into Afrin town. Three days after the YPG was defeated here, people say they need essential supplies and more safety. We are not okay right now. We are hungry. There is no proper water to drink. The YPG destroyed our houses. They put booby traps into our houses, into our villages. We cannot enter our villages right now. There is no proper road because they put mines there, so we cannot return to our houses. All the villages are surrounded by bombs because they left bombs there. We were scared living under the bombing, but it's better now there is some security. Before that, we couldn't sleep in our homes. Access to here in Afrin town is still being restricted, but aid is being allowed through. That's because these people vitally need food that hasn't been able to get in over the last few days. But the military say that the town is still not completely safe. And just moments ago, we heard two loud explosions from just up the street. That's because the military are still clearing the town of mines, bombs and booby traps. And until that is done, residents wanting to return won't be allowed back in. To reassure people here, Turkish soldiers are patrolling the town. Under one kilometer away from the town center, this small bakery is working at full capacity. Those who can afford it queue up to buy the bread. Many elderly people have no one to help them, and it's a long walk to Afrin town. The battle to take it back from the YPG was tough, and the struggle to restore everyday life for the people here is just beginning. Asad Beg, TRT World, Afrin, Syria.